What's up everybody? Today I'm going to do a Templates 101. I have a lot of from scratch tutorials coming up and most of them require a body and sleeve template. Instead of slapping mini template tutorials within those tutorials, I decided to make a separate video that I'll refer to. But without further ado, let's make some templates. In this 101, I'll be showing you how to make a body and sleeve template from scratch. You're going to need construction paper or any pattern paper. It doesn't matter what you use. The second thing you're going to need is a marking tool. And the final thing that you're going to need is a measuring tape. I'll put a list of everything you're going to need in the video description. The first template we're going to make is the sleeve template. First measurement that we're going to need is the arm length. With your measuring tape, measure from your shoulder down to your elbow. Write this measurement down. Then you want to measure from your elbow down to your wrist. Take the first measurement and add it to your second measurement. This will be your total arm measurement. The second measurement that we're going to need is the width of the armhole. I'm just going to call this shoulder to chest measurement because it makes more sense. Take your measuring tape and measure from the top of your shoulder down to the bottom of your chest. That will be your shoulder to chest measurement. The final measurement that we'll need is the hand width. Lay out your hand and measure across it with your measuring tape. That will be your hand width. Now grab your template or pattern paper. Start by drawing out the arm length along the bottom of the paper. On the left side of the arm length, you want to add the shoulder to chest measurement. Make sure there's some distance between the two measurements. On the right side of the arm length, you want to add your hand measurement. Try to center the hand measurement in between the shoulder to chest measurement. After those two lines are drawn, you can connect the two measurements together. Next, we need to create a curve along the shoulder to chest measurement. Start by adding a midpoint mark on the shoulder to chest measurement. Make the width of the mark half of the shoulder to chest measurement. Then you want to create the S curves on both ends of the midpoint mark. The last thing you need to do is add the seam allowance. Simply add seam allowances in these areas. Keep in mind that you don't have to have the same seam allowances shown. You can always modify your templates to your liking. Your final sleeve template should look something like this. The second template that we're going to make in this 101 is the body template. The first measurement that we're going to need is the body length. Take your measuring tape and measure from the start of your neck down to a desired length. A reasonable place to end is right below the stomach. But it's really up to you on where you want to end the length. I personally like to end it at my hips just because I like longer tees. But again, it's totally up to you. The second measurement that we're going to need is the body width. Take your measuring tape and measure across the widest part of your body. Whether it be your chest, waist, or hip, it varies from person to person. I generally measure around my hips so my t-shirts don't hug my butt. I hate that, so I usually measure around that area. The third measurement that we're going to need is the neck width. Take your measuring tape and measure around your neck. To prevent any measurement errors, you want to add 2 inches to your total neck measurement. Then take the new measurement and divide it in half. That will be your neck width. The final measurement that we need is the armhole length. Since we made the sleeve template first, we already have this measurement. Here's a quick recap of how to measure the armhole length if you skip the sleeve part of the video. Now grab some more template or pattern paper. Start by drawing out the body length. In the middle of the body length, you want to draw out your body width. Using both measurements, you want to create a box like this. Now that we have this box, we can form the body template. First, we're going to add the neckline. In the middle of the top line, you want to add your neck width. To center your measurement, you can use the length midpoint as a reference. Then you want to measure down one inch from the top and create a semicircle. Next, we're going to add the armholes. On both sides of the template, you want to measure one inch from the top and add a mark. Then you want to create two lines that connect both ends of the neckline to the two markings that we made. Cut off the corners when you're done. Now you can add the shoulder to chest measurement along the sides of the body template. Midway through both shoulder to chest measurements, you want to add a midpoint mark. 
the width of the mark should be half of the shoulder to chest measurement. After you add that mark, you want to create another semicircle using the midpoint as a reference. The last thing to do is add the seam allowance. Proceed to add a 1 inch seam allowance around these areas. This is how your final body template should look. Keep in mind that you can always modify the template to however you would like. So here's a final look of both templates that we made in this tutorial. Remember that you can modify both of these templates to your liking. But anyways, that's the tutorial. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is Ken and you daily and remember to keep it daily. Peace.